Have you ever seen two dogs stuck together on the street and wondered what's going on? It's a sight that often stops people in their tracks, leaving them confused, curious, or even a little uncomfortable. For many, it's a mystery that sparks all kinds of questions and unfortunately sometimes the wrong reactions. Or maybe you've seen people react by shouting, chasing them, or even trying to separate them, sometimes with sticks or stones. These reactions are usually driven by misunderstanding or a desire to help, but they can actually do more harm than good. As someone who works with animals every day, I want to clear up the confusion and hopefully inspire a little more kindness in our communities. Understanding what's really happening can help us respond with empathy instead of fear or frustration. Let's start with the basics. First things first, dog mating is a completely natural process. It's a part of life for every species and dogs are no exception. What might seem odd or even alarming to us is, in fact, a normal part of their reproductive cycle. It might look strange or even uncomfortable to us, but for dogs, it's simply biology in action. They're following instincts that have been shaped by nature over thousands of years. One part of this process is called the copulation time, or lock phase, where the male and female appear stuck together. This is the moment that often draws the most attention and concern from bystanders. So what's actually happening here? Why do they get stuck? And is it something to worry about? During mating, the male dog's reproductive organ, specifically a part called the bulbous glandus, swells inside the female. This swelling is a natural response and is essential for the mating process. At the same time, the female's muscles contract around him. This combination creates a secure connection between the two dogs. This forms a natural lock, holding them together for up to 45 minutes. It might seem like a long time, but it's completely normal and necessary for successful reproduction. The purpose? It gives the sperm the best chance to reach the eggs, increasing the odds of a successful pregnancy. This tie is nature's way of ensuring the survival of the species. Now, I know this can look awkward, but interfering is never the answer. It's important to remember that this is a delicate moment for both animals. Trying to pull them apart or scaring them can cause torn muscles, internal injuries, or even permanent damage to both dogs. The pain and trauma from such interference can last long after the event is over. Imagine the pain and confusion they must feel in that moment. Dogs don't understand why someone is suddenly hurting or frightening them during such a vulnerable time. Instead, what they need is patience and a safe space to finish the process naturally. Once the tie is over, the dogs will separate on their own, usually without any issues. Here's what I need you to remember. These animals aren't hurting anyone. They're just following their instincts, doing what comes naturally to them. They deserve our respect and empathy, just like the puppies we love to share on social media. Every dog, whether a pet or a stray, is worthy of compassion and understanding. If you see dogs in this tie, the best thing you can do is simple. Leave them alone and give them space. Stand back, keep others away, and let nature take its course. If you're with others who want to interfere, gently explain what's happening and encourage them to be patient. Sometimes, a little education can prevent a lot of harm. You don't need to help, but please, don't harm them. Your calm response can make all the difference for these animals. Every act of kindness matters, especially for those who can't speak for themselves. Dogs rely on us to protect them, not to add to their stress or pain. Spread the word, support animal welfare, and let's be the reason our communities are safer for everyone, humans and dogs alike. When we choose compassion, we set an example for others and help build a more caring world. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this important topic. Your understanding and empathy can truly make a difference in the lives of animals around you. Thanks for listening and for choosing compassion.